everyone, welcome back. Um, I hope everyone's surviving lockdown quite happily. We, um, we're we going to be taking a look today at Amiga. This is probably the watch that surprised me the most this year. I absolutely love it. Um, and this is, of course, the film edition watch, No Time to Die. We haven't seen we haven't seen a James Bond watch for the last five years, which was Spectre. That was the Seamaster 300, if you remember, on that NATO strap. So it's been a long time coming, and obviously No Time to Die, the film that hasn't been released yet, is about to be the 25th James Bond film. So it's quite a big one. It's Daniel Craig's final film, so he collaborated with Amiga to design this this new Diver 300 meter model, and I absolutely love it. We've obviously, I mean, we've come a long way from the Pierce Brosnan days of the Diver 300 with the waves that made it very, very famous. And now we've gone titanium, we've gone 42 mil, and we've gone military. So I'm really excited about this. Okay, I've come around this side just so that I can see what I'm showing you. And also, cause I like looking at this watch too. So I don't want to miss out. Um, so what we've got here at first glance, 42 millimeter case um, with 13 millimeters thick, which is actually probably a little bit wider than what we're used to for the, for the Bond watches, but you can see it's not it's not even out of place on my wrist, and I do have quite small wrists, um, and it's it's very very similar to what we see with the core collection of the Diver 300s. Um, it's really quite muted, a little bit more subtle. We've got the matte black dial here and the bezel, of course. Um, and what they've done with the dial and the bezel, Amiga have developed just a form of a very, very lightweight and also anodized aluminium. So it does make the watch extremely comfy. Now, <laughs> with titanium, I'm always a little bit skeptical that it's going to be just too lightweight and that you don't get that big manly blokey steel feel for for the money but what you do get with this is probably the most comfortable watch i've ever worn so it's really really surprised me can you see how fluid this bracelet is sometimes when you get a mesh bracelet they're a little bit claggy sometimes they just feel a bit clunky on the wrist but actually i've left this open so that you can see how easy it is to adjust we've got the push button clasp and then, rather than having to remove links, all we do is we flip the clasp open there, feed the bracelet through, like so, and I'm going to pop this on my wrist, so I shall need to go right to the end, but the pin will just hold that in place, and then you've got your folding clasp to keep everything there. I'm really impressed with this. So very, very easy to change over. On it goes on the wrist. And you can see it just sits really nicely. And I wish you could feel how comfortable this is. If you can try this on, go and try it on somewhere because it is, it's really, really, really surprised me. I'm going to stop saying that because you'll be sick of hearing it. But it's, um, it's unusually comfortable. <laughs> um, and if you're not a big fan of, of the Melanese, of the Milanese strap, then um, there is obviously the NATO as well. So let's take a quick look at that. So what we do have on here as well, you might notice, this has still got the plastic on. We've got 007 logo. So this this just comes with the, with the NATO strap. Um, and the muted colours that pair up really nicely with that muted dial as well. We've got our screw down crown, um, nice and watertight because we are obviously still water resistant to 300 meters, helium escape valve as well. And then inside these, we have what we know already to be absolutely phenomenal. It's that 8806 Metas caliber. So Metas certificated, it's master chronometer rated. So the movement is just second to none. It's one of the best ones that you're going to pick up commercially for this sort of price point. Um, we're gaining no more than two seconds a day with this and losing nothing. So we're only ever going to be early. And that's coming from a woman. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> no 
notice on the dial here, just above six o'clock, we've got our broad arrow insignia. And so that is the symbol that marks something that's been issued by the British government, which obviously pays homage to James Bond being a government agent. Um, and then just further to that as well, I like these because they're, these marks of being Bond are just a little bit more subtle than being plastered all over the dial, for example. So here on the back, you've got the exact format of the mill-issued watches, and then obviously Agent 007, now the 62 here, that refers to obviously the first Bond film, which was 1962, which was, shout out your screens, Dr. No, yep. Um, and we have come a very long way. We don't talk about those days because they weren't Amiga watches, but now they are, and that's the most important thing. Before you disappear, I want to show you the box actually, because we forget when we're talking about Swiss watches sometimes that James Bond is obviously, I mean, very, very British. So the presentation box that comes with it is maybe not quite what we're used to from Amiga. Very different. So in here, the usual instruction booklets in there, your warranty cards and everything that you'd expect. But we actually have a waxed travel case for the watch. Obviously, there's nothing in here because I've got them out with me. But this was su supplied to Amiga by British Malarian. And so these supply a lot of Barber products as well. So it's, it's a very, very high quality material. And your watch will sit perfectly in there. If you've got a tool to swap the strap over, then you can do. It's worth me saying, actually, that... The NATO strap is available to buy on its own. So if you wanted to get in touch with us and ask about buying an additional NATO strap so that you can swap the bracelet for the strap, all we need to do is change over the spring bars and you're all sorted and ready to go. So do, do get in touch if you think that this is something that floats your boat. I would ask us about it because it has really, really changed my outlook on these watches, just putting them on my wrist. So I'd recommend trying them on and then getting in touch if you think that's something that you want for yourself.